Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we're making the cut for today. Man rescued days after robbed and dumped into pit in Spanish town. Doggy killed by sharks in Westmoreland. A 66-year-old man was rescued from an underground pit in Spanish town St. Catherine on Sunday morning by a team of personnel from the St. Catherine Fire Department. The rescue came more than two days after the man was dumped in a pit by gunmen who reportedly abducted and robbed him. Reports are that about 9.30 on Thursday night, George Smart of Gregory Park, Portmore address in St. Catherine, drove his Nissan A&D wagon motor car to Jones Avenue in Spanish Town to deliver a package, but was held up by two men armed with guns. He was abducted and robbed of an undetermined sum of cash and his motor car and was taken to a section of the community where he was thrown in an underground pit and reported left underground. About 7.30 on Sunday morning, the authorities were alerted to his presence in the pit. The firefighters and police personnel went to the location. Smart was removed from the pit about 9.30 a.m. and was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital for treatment. Ronnie, could you just identify yourself for the record, please? Dennis Lyon, acting CP senior deputy superintendent in charge of the St. Catherine Division, Jamaica Fire Okay, just spell the Lyon, sir. L Y O N. Okay, yes. Where are we and what brought us here this morning? We're here at Jones Avenue and what brought you here was that at 7.14 a.m. this morning the brigade received a call of that there was a, a man in a pit in the Jones Avenue area. Uh, three units, two fr one from Spanish Town, one from Portmore and also our, our EMS crew from Portmore responded. And the brigade's arrival and an assessment was made and in discussion with the police we were told that a gentleman was kidnapped and dumped in that pit. It's over 55 feet deep since Thursday. The brigade um, got into operation and one firefighter was lowered into that the pit where we were able to get the rope around the gentleman and in a very delicate process we were able to remove him from the pit. He's now being transported to the Spanish hospital by our EMS team. Um, how many person how many boots you have on the person? They, we, we dispatched 17 firefighters to include myself. And um, the person who picked him up, who got down to extract him, all him seemed lay down, lie down, or was he, he was talking? found laying down under another section. It's a very, as I said, it's about 55 feet deep. Mm -hmm. And he was under, if you look down in that hole, you couldn't see him. So the firefighter had to go down and retrieve him and then tie him up and pull him out. And you understand so that was from Thursday? I understand he was in the pit since Thursday. He was kidnapped, his car stolen, and he was done there. Um, um, I know this is a p police matter. How do the police say that they hear so that he was in the pit? Resident I have pit. not yet spoken with the police, but um, from what I understand that somebody was there guarding him and on the arrival of the police, that person ran. So, so. And they understand, I saw mattress, they understand that mattress. Yes, that was where uh, somebody was sitting. Okay, all right, okay. So you can just imagine you dung in our pit from Thursday and found Sunday. That are two days and a couple hours, you know. Just imagine the hunger what a man here faced for the two days and couple hours. Just imagine how thirsty he was when sun rise. Just imagine that down in a dark tunnel. You can't see nothing at 
all amount of things supposed to crawl upon him probably even bite him too but not only that imagine the physical pain where the man go through because i throw them throw him down there and i put them go put him down and place him decent and i dash them dash him down in that thing so imagine the head injury the hand the foot even the back just imagine the amount of pain this man is going through all because the man them not plan to get up and go work for them own it was also stated that them only put him there for go back for go finish him off but somehow information got out that a man was down in the pit so you know the people are watch out for see who are going to come back so that is the reason why they never get for come back for come finish him off and to be honest this man just have to count himself lucky because for down in our hole so deep for two and a half days basically that not easy you know me not think that easy any at all just imagine yeah yeah what i'm probably might try to say something you might try to scream but the pain when in my mode can what i'm probably can scream and persons actually hear him that's how them know say him down there but just imagine down in a hole where things are crawl upon you. You can't see what crawl upon you. You only can try to box it off if your hand can move because it's supposed to pain up as I mentioned earlier. Just imagine all of that. For what reason? Over your own things. Over your own things, you know. And just let us be reminded that he never did have to come out to breathe in. But lucky enough, God spare him for two and a half days. The man is out now seeking medical attention at the Spanish Town Hospital. And also investigations are ongoing. A fisherman has died following a shark attack at sea on Saturday in Westmoreland. He has been identified as 53-year-old Donovan Haywood, otherwise called Doggy, who lived at Darling Street in Savalamar in the parish. It was reported that shortly after 8 a.m., Haywood and a group of other fishermen set out from the community of Russia in Savalamar to go spearfishing offshores of Little Bay in Little London. While on their water, Haywood was attacked by a large shark which ripped off his left arm and inflicted several bite wounds to the upper body. It took his colleagues more than half hour to free him from the shark's mouth after shooting it. The shark swam away with Haywood harm. He was taken ashore and rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Residents in Savalamar told the news team that the ordeal is the first of such incidents to occur in the community. People who don't know it work already. If you're interested to see the full video of that, all you have to do go down in the description where the Chop City Telegram group link is. Just click on the link and join the group. You watch the video. It is just that simple. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay safe and bliss.